Right, we're out here on Chittawith today in downtown Louisville almost at St. Matthew's Feed and Seed with Ross. Good to see you. Ross is the seedsman or seed dude. There you go. Either one works, right? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. All right, now I talked to you on Facebook not too long ago and you said, hey, I want to put you in some seeds. Sure. So let's talk about the fact that it's August. Yep. All right. Gardening does not have to be done or over. You can start all over again. That's right. A lot of people think that the garden's a spring and summertime thing, but a lot of people's gardens, you know, tomatoes are coming on right now really good. And a lot of people think that it's just over after that. August 1st is usually, you know, kind of a standby day to start the fall garden. Recently, I've seen some people that are taking bales of straw, wetting them down, putting their seeds in there, and it seems to be working pretty good. If you don't have a lot of space or just have a backyard. You sure could. There's a lot of things like that. Uh, raised bed gardening, square foot gardening, container gardening. Uh, smart pots, little, you know, anything that you can get some soil in and grow in, you know, people have done it. All right, let's talk about uh, some of the obvious things that you can plant in August. Sure. Uh, a lot of greens, uh, lettuce, uh, mustards, spinach, uh, broccoli, carrots, beets. I always advise people grow something that you're going you're gonna to enjoy eating so you don't lose interest in taking care of it. So a lot of times now people are coming here thinking, okay, deer season's right around the corner. Sure. So it's not just stuff that yeah. we eat. What else have you got in here? Uh, we've got a lot of stuff for the deer hunters, sugar beets. Uh, recently I spoke with a guy from Fish and Wildlife a couple years ago, Jason Nally, he's a land biologist there, and he said that they're recommending right now to do nine pounds of clover per acre. Oh, wow. Five pounds of red to four pounds of white for food plots. And they found that that works best for growing a deer population. Oh, wow. Uh, clover, clover, clover. Yeah, and a lot of guys see this stuff on TV and they want sugar beets and they want everything that they see on TV. But, you know, I like to tell people, take advantage of your, your university and extension services. They've done studies exactly. and they know exactly what they're talking about. So this is St. Matthew's Feed and Seed. This is not something that just popped up a couple years ago. <laughs> no, it's got a little history. Uh, they like to say our slogan is well-rooted since 1920. I saw a picture of a guy herding goats up oh, to the yeah. front of the store. Yeah. Started right over here on Gilman, just around the corner here in a, somebody's backyard in a garage. Well, that's impressive. Let's go inside. I know sure. you've got a chart sure. we can look at and kind of show oh, some yeah. seeds. Oh, yeah. It's cool Because you there are too. the seed dude. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. All right, Ross, we've come inside here and we actually see many, many seeds. Oh, yeah. There's the packs that we're used to, but you can buy in bulk if you need a lot sure. more. Half and pounds, packets, ounces. So as much as you need. Yeah, as small or as large of a scale as you'd like. Now you've got something here, it's a handy dandy Kentucky Gardener's Fall Vegetable Planning Guide. And as you look on here, you see beets, bib lettuce, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and it shows the, the varying areas. This is so handy to have. Sure. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things that I like about this is it'll show you the spacing. A lot of people put things too close together, too far apart, not enough room, and then they get a, it, it affects their harvest. Now, what causes you to get interested in this? You've been throwing some names around that are very familiar to me with fish and wildlife, and what, what makes you interested in this whole I just seed enjoy thing? it. It's fun. It's a lot better than sitting in an office. <laughs> um, you know, you get to meet good people. Everybody that comes in here, for the most part, is happy. They're close doing, to the earth. Yeah, you know, they're doing something they enjoy, and you know, there's nobody that comes in here in down mood and whining or complaining about something that's just really positive. And you ate all your vegetables growing oh, up. Oh yeah, Cause you, a few of them. You ate more than me, yeah. apparently. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna shop around a little bit sure. and i tell you what I do want for sure. Brussels sprouts and cabbage. Now cabbage, if you have your early cabbage, what problems do you find? A lot of people have problems with the insects on their cabbages. Dang on um, little, pretty little yellow butterfly, white butterfly, sure. lays those little yeah. eggs in the larvae. There's one that's called a stonehead cabbage that a lot of people like to grow because it's really tight and yeah. compact. And a lot of people think that it helps keep the bugs out of it. Well, I'll tell you what, you mentioned something else too, but these colorful carrots so for kids trying oh, yeah. this the first for time. For kids, that's something, something to keep them interested in. Purple, orange, yellow, red, white. Radishes would be something else good for kids. They're usually 20, 25 days. So, oh, you, you know, quick turnaround. short attention span of a child, something to keep them, you know, one month project. Folks out there who think the gardening season's over now, the old timers, like Bobby Joe, he knows about the fall garden. He knows about burying oh, yeah. the cabbage and all that kind of stuff, but it's not over. It can just be beginning for you. So let's go pick some seeds out. So you think your garden 
season's over. Guess what? Green beans. Oh yeah. You're talking green beans. Well, I didn't first. get my green beans out this year, so there's hope for me yet. Thank you so much for Thanks talking for with coming. us. And Appreciate you know what? Throughout the year, maybe we should touch base with you and see what's sure. going on. The spring's right around the corner. Time flies. And uh, tell us what's new out there and things we can do and little tricks and tips that our folks out there can benefit from. Because you are the seed dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.